You're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a pop out effect in Vegas Pro 14. So on screen right now is the raw footage of the video you saw at the start. So I'll play it from the beginning. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here. So after I said casual savage, I took a pause. And the reason for that is because we're gonna be taking a snapshot. Usually when I say an intro, I just say it completely the way through. I never pause, but you'll see after this pause, I then finish off. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a pop out effect in Vegas Pro 14. So that is how it looks. And uh, the sound quality is bad because that is from the uh, camcorder itself. But yeah, to do this is very simple and let's get into it. So I took a pause here. Of course, you don't have to. This is just how I prefer to do it. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to find the part where I stop talking and we're going to take a snapshot. So let's find it. Savage here. Right there. I'm then going to press S on my keyboard right here. And we can trim this down so we can match it back up to where we start talking again. And we can drag this off to the side. Now for this first clip, we're going to go back one keyframe by pressing the left arrow on your keyboard. Make sure this is set to best and full. Then what you want to do is select save snapshot to file. After you saved it, you'll see it will appear in your projects media. So now I'm going to drag and drop this on and I'm going to drag and drop this onto another video track. I'm then going to press control C, control V to paste it underneath. Now for the top one, what we're going to do is head over to the event pattern crop. And for this, we will need to be masking. So I'm going to select the masking tool and I'm going to simply zoom into myself like so. And now we're going to select the anchor creation tool. And with this, all we're going to do left click. And as you'll see, a yellow point will be laid out each time. And each time a yellow points laid out, we have to click further on and we have to go around ourselves like so. Try and be as accurate as possible. And of course, any errors you make, you can fix them after. Okay, so you can see I've got back to the bottom over here. So I started from the bottom left. I went all the way around myself. And now the final thing you need to do is link back up. So you want to come over to the first dot you created. And as you'll see, all the dots should highlight in yellow. Then simply left click. If it doesn't do that, then you've made a mistake. So I'm going to X out of this. And I'm actually going to mute the track below. And as you'll see, this will now show our mistakes. So I messed up on the top left of the head here and of course the shoulder here. So all we're going to do, open the masking tool again. I'm going to make it smaller this time. And all I'm going to do is find the part by coming to the normal edit tool, left clicking up here. And I'm going to simply come to the parts that I messed up, left click here. And as you'll see, drag in the dots. And it's in real time over here so you can see what you are doing and if it is being fixed and there we go that is now better we do have a bit of white but it won't get in the way of anything else we can now unmute this track and the next thing we're going to do is add some effects to the track below so for this we're going to head over to video effects if you don't see it and simply come to view windows layout and select default layout now from video effects there is a ton of different things you can add the first thing i'm going to add is let's see i will add a black and white let's go with black and white so I'm going to drag and drop black and white so now the background black and white of course I stay in color then I'm going to add a Gaussian blur which is going to blur out the background I'm going to add a medium blur as you'll see it gives us that effect and then um, let's see I don't think I actually want to add anything else for now so I will leave that the same so the next thing I'm going to create is the pop out effect so to do this I'm going to be using the track motion now make sure sync cursor is checked and right at the start of the clip here, just lay down a keyframe at the default way it is. Now here is your time. If you come across, you'll see this is telling you how long it'll take for the pop out to be completed. Now you don't want it too long because then it's going to come out really slow. So I'm going to make it come out like this. I'm going to make sure lock aspect ratio is checked and also scale about center. I'm then going to enlarge the image like so. Now if I X out of this, this is what we have. I'll just turn this down to preview and auto. And this is what we currently have. Savage here. You'll see that is what we have and it's going to stay there. The next thing I'm going to do is add some text. So maybe here in the bottom right. So I'm going to right click, insert another video track. For this, I will be adding text directly from Vegas Pro 14. So we need to head over to media generators, come all the way down and select legacy text and select from with a checkered background. If it has a checkered background, it means there's going to be no background to that text. So I'm going to add on soft shadow and I'm going to type here casual savage. I'm going to press control A. I'm going to put it smaller to about size 30. I'm going to leave it as white. I'm going to put the outline as a black here. I'm going to turn the feather low and put the width up. And now I'm going to simply position this to where I want it, which is going to be at the bottom right here. 
Now I'm going to split it here. So once the clip ends, the text also ends as well. I'm then going to right click insert another video track and underneath this, I will put, uh, since I'm on 49,000 subscribers, I'll put 49,000 subscribers. Press control A and I'll put this to about size 25. And again, I'm going to add an effect, a stroke. Um, the feather will be turned off. The width will go up a bit. And of course I want this black. And for this, I will change the color to maybe like a cyan. And now again, track motion. I'm going to position this underneath the casual savage text here, just like that. So I can now X out of it again, split the ends, delete. And now we need to add some transitions to the text. So for this, we need to head over to transitions and I am going to be using a slide. So it's right here and I want it to slide in from the right to the left. So I'm going to drag and drop this on both of them. X out of this, drag and drop this on here. And what I want is a bit of de a delay. And I also want the text to start coming on screen as I am popping out. So like here, I want it to start. So I'm going to drag both of the text back like so. And another thing I want to do is offset the 49,000 subscribers. So casual savage will be displayed first and then the subscriber count will be displayed a little bit later. So I'll just drag it off to the side like here. Now trim it down again uh, to here. And this is now what we currently have. What's going on guys? Casual Savage here. That is what we're going to have. And of course it is on quite a bit long. So, here. and I'm going to cut this out right to here. So it's not going to stay on screen too long. And then I'm also going to put this back. So now this is the final thing completed. What's going on guys? Casual Savage here. And in this video, let me show you how And it goes back to normal, just like that. Now, another thing you can do instead of adding a black and white, for example, if I take the black and white off, but I'm going to keep that blur because I think it looks good. Head over to video effects, come down to glow. And for example, let's add a blue glow onto that bottom track. As you'll see, it gives us a blue background. We can also change it to any color we want to. So for example, a blue now. And of course it goes with the blue text we picked at the start. And this is the final thing completed. What's going on guys? Casual Savage here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a pop out effect in Vegas Pro 14. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Shout out to Alex for letting me upload on his channel. Be sure to go ahead and check out my channel in the description. He's also done a video on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace. What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new video and before this video starts guys, I want you guys to check out Double Frizz, it is basically a really great tasting uh, juice that you guys have to check out, so if you're in the area, make sure to just pick this up, it is really worth it. With that being said, make sure to just smash the like button down below and also the subscribe button down below and in this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make the screen shake and yes, I, have prob I probably did a video about this in the past, but I just wanted to make a nice 2017 updated version so basically as you guys can see right now I have a nice checkerboard in Vegas that means that we're gonna make this screen shake and rotate and how you want to call this so as you can see right now what we're gonna do first of all we are we're all gonna do this in the event pan crop as you can see uh, menu this little icon we're gonna click on there and basically we're, we're gonna work with keyframes now keyframes are basically little spots that are gonna um, catch up the movements that you are setting so as you can see right now, we have just a regular uh, checkerboard. I'll put it out of the way. Uh, as you can see, this is just a little checkerboard uh, that I have right here. And basically, guys, I'm just going to show you guys how to make this shake. So as you can see at the bottom, we have this. We have two lines. We have the light gray and the dark gray. We're going to stay away from the dark gray. We're going to work on the gray. So let's say that we are going to uh, click on here. Then the marker is going to jump to there. Then we are going to... Uh, turn it a little bit as you can see then we're gonna place another keyframe turn it a little bit put another keyframe turn it another keyframe like turn it even more do it like this and you want to just keep doing this until the entire line uh, I mean timeline is filled with keyframes as you can see this is how you do it and I'm going to just keep on doing this and let's say that you want to make a uh, com like a complete turn that's the only thing you need to do is you want to just rotate this 360 degrees like so 
So if you're gonna uh, keep on uh, make make this shake, as you can see, if I'm, I'll play it right there, I'm just gonna keep on uh, putting keyframes on this little one. You can even like place it like this, really out the, out of the screen. Also bring it back, bring it back a little, and we're gonna keep on doing this until the entire timeline is filled. So we're gonna go back and turn it around, spin it a little bit, as you can see, like so. Boom, now we're gonna keep on doing this until the entire line is filled with keyframes. 12 seconds later. This is basically how our line is looking and let's play it back. As you can see, the screen is shaking. And I, I, I also made a uh, like a 360 rotation, you can see it right here. So this is how to do it, guys. This is how you rotate your screen. It is really simple, it all depends on what you're doing. And this is how to do it. You can also do this with text, with videos, with photos, anything. So that is how to do it, guys. This is how to make the screen shake. It is really simple. If you have any suggestions for Vegas tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'm currently on a break, but I will be back next Monday with new videos because I have uh, right now, when this, when this video is published, uh, I'm on the middle of my vacation. I just planned a whole schedule uh, of seven videos for one week. So this week, I'm currently taking off, but I will still be replying to tweets and everything. Nothing too special, but just have some time off. Spend awesome time and, and quality time with my girlfriend, obviously. So this is how we do it. I'll play it one more time. This is how you make a screen shake in Vegas 14. It is that simple. So there you go. This is there. There you have it. So that is it for this video. Thank you for the support. I will catch you guys tomorrow for a brand new uh, Audacity tutorial, as always, on Thursday. And I will see you guys tomorrow. What is happening, guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 14 tutorial. And in this video, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to actually make the telephone voice effect in Vegas. So last week, I actually uh, made a video how to do that in Audacity. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do that in Vegas 14. A lot of people have been asking about that. So here's the tutorial. It is Wednesday. New Vegas 14 tutorial. Let's try to smash 300 likes on this video. That should be possible. So without, without further ado, let's jump straight into the actual video so as you can see I'm on Vegas 14 right now and what I need to do now is I need audio so I'm just going to create a new audio track as you can see I'm gonna also click on aim for record so I can just record my voice in, in in Vegas 14 so as you can see the sound bar is also moving because I'm talking I'm just going to record a really quick sample and I'm going to show you guys how to apply the effect on that little uh, clip so I'm gonna click on record and let's record something Alright guys, so this is a little smart, uh, small clip rather, to show you guys how to apply the telephone voice effect onto a clip in Vegas 14. Alright, this is our recording. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to go to this little icon which says event effects. Now we have a lot, a lot of options to choose from, but what we're going to pick to actually apply the telephone uh, telephone voice, rather the effect is we are going to pick paramedic EQ. We're going to double click on that, we click on add, we're going to click on OK. Now this box pops up and what you want to do is you want to pick the preset that's already in for you and you want to pick phone line effect. All right guys, so I messed a little bit with, with the bandwidth and let's see what it sounds like right now. All right guys, so this is a little smart, uh, small clip rather to show you guys how to apply the telephone voice effect onto a clip in Vegas 14. Okay guys, so that sounds pretty legit, but we want to mess with the center frequency. Now we're gonna bring that up and let's hear what that sounds like. All right guys, so this is a little smart, uh, small clip rather to show you guys how to apply the telephone voice effect onto a clip in Vegas 14. As you guys can hear, that is, sounds really soft. I'll try to make that louder in the editing. But as you can hear, this is how it sounds, guys. If you close it out, this is how it sounds. All right, guys, so this is a little smart, uh, small clip rather to show you guys how to apply the telephone voice effect onto a clip in Vegas 14. So that's how to do it, guys. This is how you create the telephone voice in Vegas 14. So I want to thank you guys for watching and thank you for the continued support. We just crossed 115,000 subscribers. I'm so thankful for every single comment that you guys are leaving under my videos. It is awesome. So this is how to do it, guys. If it went to buy too fast, make sure to just pause it and rewind it so you can just watch it over and over again. Like I said at the beginning of this video, let's, let's try to hit 300 likes. That should be possible. And that is it for 
for this video. Thank you for the support. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new Alessi tutorial as always on Thursday. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford.